It's not that you trade against me. It's that I trade against myself. Why am I trading against myself? Because I ain't got to touch my affinity. Because the end of the day is, whether you're man or woman, and you entertain other people and stuff, that obviously, like you said, is naturally, obviously, there's an affinity inside you that you're not getting the balance that you need. Like infidelity. Like you set a certain expectation and going through that. Like, so y'all define what's infidelity and what's not infidelity in a exactly. relationship. So, like, I definitely understand where y'all coming from. Well, people, why, yeah. My thing is this why is this so. But this is my thing with society. Why is it so frowned upon when y'all open up the doors to the gates? Why do we care about if, it, if you're in an open marriage or not? Like people, you, they want to know gossip. People gossip. That's no, all they No, wait a minute, wait a minute, but it's deeper than that. Uh, no, it ain't really too much deeper than just the selfish. It issue. is. No, because if it was deeper than that, then it would be like, it wouldn't it's, exist. It's becoming a harm. And so that goes back into the Vedic understanding where it says no yamas, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Is to do no harm. And so infidelity, she knows someone actually might have created a harm depends on who it is, I'm saying. It's difficult because unless or until we can obtain that state of nirvana, essentially complete emptiness where you are a vessel that is in constant need and desire of filling and replenishment. So you take the good of the present moment, you take that wholesomeness and that nutrition and you're constantly fed by it. Until we can get to that, love will for the most part, and that's even being generous as an assessment, be selfish because we're all motivated by self-interest.